I'm Dr. Chris Winslow. I'm director of both the Ohio Sea Grant Program, a NOAA-funded program, and Ohio State University's Stone Laboratory, the university's island campus on Lake Erie. So the value of Ohio Sea Grant is that, that we work hard to connect stakeholders to Lake Erie, um, to that environment that they, uh, that they appreciate. And what I mean by stakeholders, this can be anyone from somebody that visits the lake, um, somebody that lives on the lake, it can be our state agencies, it can be our elected officials, it can be media folks that cover um, issues with the lake. So Ohio Sea Grant uh, tackles a lot, of, a lot of issues here in the state of Ohio. Um, so when I think about uh, what we spend our day um, not only um, studying, so conducting research on, but communicating are things like dredging in our navigable channels for Lake Erie. We do a little bit of research in microplastics. We study invasive species. We assess climate change. Um, we do a lot of work in, in historic contaminants. And so what Sea Grant tries to do, Ohio Sea Grant specifically, is really take that complex research um, that we help fund and that we support um, and get that into a digestible format for those stakeholders. We, we really get into the communities along the lake and try and address things that are of concern for them. So Ohio Sea Grant is one of actually 34 Sea Grant programs from across the country. So any state that bumps into the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Gulf of Mexico, or one of the Great Lakes has a Sea Grant program. And basically in a, in a nutshell, we call it the three legs of a stool. So one leg of the stool is, is research. So the research we fund isn't just decided by me in, in the office here or any one person with the Sea Grant program. It's driven by, again, what our stakeholders need, whether that's a resident living on the lake or in the watershed or our state agencies. We want to conduct research that just doesn't get published in a journal and presented at an academic conference. We want to fund research that actually can help inform management, and the golden ticket is to inform policy. So the second leg of that stool is, is education. Um, so the education that we develop really, again, falls back to those stakeholders. So we go to teachers that teach in the watershed and teach about Lake Erie and ask what curriculum do they want to have developed. And we try to develop curriculum also that meets the state's science standards. So we're not just developing curriculum that we think would be fun and exciting. We try and develop a curriculum that checks off the boxes that teachers need to check off. Um, what they know they need to teach their students before they move on to the next grade level. And then the third leg of that stool is what we call outreach. Some refer to it as extension. So Ohio Sea Grant employs what we call extension educators. Um, I'm happy to say that we have six phenomenal extension educators that work for Ohio Sea Grant. Basically, we have spent many, many years identifying the issues that are important to Lake Erie. Um, and again, not only issues that, that academics and agencies recognize, but issues that our residents recognize. And so we have these great experts that sit along the shoreline that are really there to answer questions that are of importance to people that tap into to Lake Erie. Yeah, so I would say that, that Ohio Sea Grant is, is unique from other programs because we've recognized the, the importance of um, connecting different groups of individuals. We are that in-between to connect um, you know, Joe and Susie Smith that live on the lake with an academic at Bowling Green State University or at Ohio State University or Wright State. Those connections wouldn't exist uh, without kind of that intermediary. And, and on a grander scale, this is why this program has been so successful. Our, our funder, NOAA, so the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, um, they've recognized that it's, that it's better for them to send money to an entity that knows the issues in the backyard of that lake that they're trying to address, rather than trying to make decisions on what research to do or, or what communication to do from DC. And so Sea Grant programs are a great example of, of local boots on the ground trying to address local issues and local questions. So working for Ohio Sea Grant, um, not only do I get a lot of pleasure out of, of funding research that we feel is relevant, but really that education component, whether it's formally for students in classes or informally for visitors to our facilities and attendees at our programs, getting people out in the field and, and engaging them in the programming we develop and, and telling them about the research finding, when you can really see smiles on faces, you can see that light bulb go off, I'm just happy to say I work for a program and, and, and work with a team that truly are passionate about what they do every day. 